Meanwhile, we've uncovered O.J. Simpson's first movie. For nearly 25 years, it was kept hidden, but now we've got a copy. And as Doug Bruckner reports, it's not exactly an Oscar winner. It's called The Dream of Hamish Mose, and it's the confused, unfinished film O.J. would probably like to forget. It's a turkey, and he didn't raise it. He didn't have anything to do with it, other than to be in it, unfortunately. O.J. didn't have any spoken lines, just a brooding part in a film about black soldiers during the Civil War. There are other plot elements in this 25-year-old mishmash, including a lynching. But the film just doesn't make any sense at all. And that's according to the man who owns the rights to it. I think the picture was probably a movie from hell. Phil Pine says it was directed, kind of, by the late actor Cameron Mitchell. He told everybody that God had come to him and told him what picture to make. Most of O.J.'s time on screen is spent staring moodily at a space just a few inches in front of his nose, while another actor voices what are supposed to be his thoughts. These eyes have seen the glory of the coming and the going, the alpha, the omega, and the in-betweener. Stupid. I mean, it was a stupid line, let's face it. At one point, they needed Indians for a scene. Now. They didn't have any Indians, but they had black guys, and they put hoods all over them. And there are shots in there of the black guys and stripped with hoods over their head, firing, supposedly, at the black troops. Phil says the movie was cursed. The head editor was a deranged individual who had originally started out as a musician, failed at that, so he decided that he should be head editor on this picture one night when they were all having dinner in a restaurant on a uh, 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 Chinese restaurant it was on Sunset Boulevard he took a 45 out of his uh, coat pocket I guess it was and blew the girl's breasts away his girlfriend and then he ran down the street shoved the gun in his mouth and blew his brains out this caused his wife much distress because she didn't know that he had been cheating on her O.J. was paid $1,000 for his two days of work on the film. He obviously didn't know what he was doing as an actor, or somebody didn't tell him what to do, because he just sat there or, or kneeled there or walked a long distance away from the camera or into the camera, and he was not as energetic as he was in the Hertz commercials. And he was not as bright as he was in those, uh, what the hell were the name of those things that Leslie Nielsen did? The things that Leslie Nielsen did were the naked gun movies, in which O.J. played the bumbling detective Norberg. This was O.J.'s greatest screen success, and this was his, well, embarrassing debut. Even so, Phil has some plans for the film. I was going to make banjo picks out of it and <laughs> sell it to people. Phil Pine told us he has to get rid of the film somehow because if he doesn't, his wife will leave him.